Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio back in the studio today with another mixing demonstration using the Soundtracks Topaz recording console and I'm also going to use some pieces of outboard gear over here in the rack that I'll show you in a minute. The song I'm going to mix today is from Homespun Centaurs 2 and it's called The Pirate Song. So this is going to be a lot of fun to mix this track through the console. The original mix of this is on the Homespun Centaurs 2 album and I'm pretty sure the link to that is in the description of this video and a lot of my videos. So you can go check out the entire Homespun Centaurs 2 album or Homespun Centaurs self-titled -de debut or the Back Porch EP. Those are all three of the Homespun Centaurs albums or releases, I guess, since one of them is an EP. I can't really call it an album. Or can I? I don't know. But anyway, let's check out what I've got going on over here on the console and in the rack. And then let's mix this song, the pirate song. On the console coming out from the DAW, we've got Kick and Snare on channels 1 and 2. Then 3 and 4 stereo, that's overhead, but it also, I should call it overhead cymbals because it's the hi-hat and the ride cymbal. Then toms in stereo, and then a stereo room mic, bass guitar. Then we've got a mono acoustic guitar track followed by a stereo acoustic track. Those are actually a multi-mic setup in stereo. Then we've got an e-guitar which stands for electric guitar. And then we've got a tambourine. Tamb, T-A-M-B. Stereo vocals, and then our reverb return over here. The kick drum on this song has a really big low end, and it kind of gets lost in the mix. So I'm adding a little bit of attack with the console EQ at about 2.8 to 3 kilohertz. I'm boosting that by 3 dB. And I'm pulling out a little bit of low mids around 350 to 400 to get some of that mush of that low mids out of the kick drum. And it still sounds really big and nice. And, you know, it's not a, really a rock song, so it doesn't need a ton of attack, but I do want it to be able to be heard in the mix. The rest of these EQs are all turned off. In the rack today, I'm using three compressors. I have the DBX163X compressor on the insert for the bass guitar track. And then the LA Audio 4x4 compressor, I have it on the inserts of the subgroup 1 and 2 for some parallel compression. If you didn't see my video on the Topaz and doing parallel compression with the buses, you can check that video out here on this channel. Soundtracks Topaz or parallel compression with Soundtracks Topaz. Then I also have the Symmetrics 501 compressor on bus number 3. And I'm using the Yamaha Rev 500 Reverb and that's the reverb returns that you saw over there on the console for reverb. I'm using the short plate preset and I've tweaked the reverb time to 1.3 seconds. Pre-delay is 0.5 milliseconds and that's just part of the preset. The only thing I really tweaked was the reverb time to make it a little longer. This is a pirate song. It needs some reverb, you know? So we're not really hitting the Symmetrix 501 compressor there on bus number three very hard in this mix and it's just a tambourine and an electric guitar just to add a little bit more vibe and maybe some kind of push-pull in the mix with those two instruments. The LA Audio 4x4 on the first two buses where I'm sending just drums, kick and snare and toms, that one I'm pushing the compressor a little harder obviously to get some of that cool drum vibe out of it and the rest of this stuff was all tracked that way. So here we go, let's play through this mix in three, two, one. Well, nothing's out in the fire 
like a wink since the ship set sail from that harlot port near the Blackwoods Trail. Poseidon in his trident must have shown me known as we snuck our way through the devil's backbone. The waves died down and the winds don't blow. Knew me on the deck and fire down below. In my heart grew cold as the first mate said, if the winds don't blow. So that was pretty fun, and hopefully it gives you yet another idea and another example of how good the soundtrack's Topaz recording console sounds when you bring your digital tracks out through the console. I certainly hope you enjoyed the soundtrack's Topaz version of the pirate song from Homespun Centaurs 2. I really hope you enjoyed it because these videos are difficult to make. You know, the camera footage, you know, I'm not using the camera mic or plugging the output of the console into the camera. The output of the console is being recorded through an audio interface and then the camera footage is synced with the actual mix so that you're getting the studio quality audio that I think you deserve as a viewer of this channel. Make sure to check out the original mix of this song on the Homespun Centaurs 2 album. Links to that album, as well as both of the other Homespun Centaurs releases, are in the description of this video. All of the links in the description of the videos go to help support this channel, as they are all releases that I've had something to do with, whether it was producing, playing drums, or guitar. You know, some of them are my own solo albums, where I play basically everything, except for a guest performance here and there. So make sure to check those out, as well as liking this video and subscribing to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. And I hope that you all have an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having. Have a good one, and thanks so much for watching. Very